Okay, this is 2016 um, Toyota Highlander. Um, this can cover from many years uh, and to the newest version of 2019-20, probably the same as this right here. Toyota, they don't change much about the brake system unless you have a drum and then that would be a uh, little bit different but still all the drum is should be work functioning very much is the same so i already took the wheels off i already put jack stands on it and safe to 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 release all the brake on this right here you have uh, one bolt on the top and one on the bottom right here uh, if you don't really do want to take this two out then you can take the one over here uh, relieve this one over here so you have longer strap uh, line so you can flip up the uh, uh, clubber up but on this case here what I have to do is I'm going to release both top and bottom okay As soon as you put both out, you just take the uh, red clipper out, okay, and just put put on the way, all the way, out of the way, and the brake pretty much uh, is almost empty, okay. Take this one out too, okay. So you see, almost empty already, okay. So the new one, take out this cover right here and put on the new one. Okay. And I know that this one kind of loose a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this pin a little bit down. Okay, this one too. When I push that pin down a little bit, it will grip better. Okay. There, that snap in. So don't forget to take this pin out too. Make sure you put the pins on the right side. A lot of time when you don't know what you're doing, you take one side out and leave the other side for your uh, model for, for you for you to look at it to see you do it right or wrong <clears throat> if you take everything out and you don't know what you're doing then shoot there's no instruction the YouTube and then all that stuff then you are you are you will have a hard time to put it back together okay but for the uh, uh, this break very simple uh, there's not much thing that you can do wrong because it's not like the uh, drum, you know. The drum you have to know how to setting all the stuff. If you don't set it right, they tend to have a problem. This break is pretty simple and easy, and I know for sure you can do it at home. Besides, pay somebody that um, will pay a lot of money for it, you know. Break changing is not cheap. Um, I guarantee you that if you take to the Toyota dealership, that if you take to Toyota dealership, they will charge you, I would say minimum three hundred bucks just for brake service. For if you do it both front and back, I would say that three hundred dollars is pretty easy because the brake shoe by itself is already seventy to a hundred dollars, depending which dealer you go to. Some of the dealership. Like the two dealers that I have in my my local store, uh, one dealer charged about seventy three, and the other dealer charged about ninety five dollar. So depend, you know, depend where you go. Okay, let's slide that in, and you can take the pins out by just push the pin out by using a screwdriver or a little nose like this to open the uh, cover right here just pull this pins out and loop a little bit 
on this 2016 I would say just leave it because it's too new you don't really have to grease it there's plenty of grease already but I'm going to do anyway on mine clean it out real good it's good for, for that and put some grease on it okay and slide the pins back in all right and do to the same thing to the top do the same thing so i don't have to do extra work i don't have to show you how to do it you know how to do it already for the clubber you can rent one of these two from um auto part i would say mostly auto part now they rent two so you can get to your local store and rent one of this or you can buy one from harbor it's not that expensive probably like 30 dollars or more i'm not sure I forgot I bought my farm from over there. It's, it's been a long time, so I don't know how much it will be now. If you don't have one of this, you, you just go get it for free. You know, they, you, you have to pay deposit. But when you're done, just return it. They give you money back. Or you can buy one, okay? Well, if you don't have one, if you do at the street, you can use a screwdriver to pry uh, the piston out. And then you can do it. Or you can, if you have a wise grip, you can use the wise grip to press right here. That's 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 work too. And on my front wheel, I show how to do on that. But on this right here, I just explain to you. So when you come up to a plate that you don't have no tool, but you do need brake, and that's how you do. Okay. All right. I think that is close enough. And let's slide this back up. The on the rear does not have any uh, return pin or anything like that so um, what you have to do just slice it this in push that okay and lock back up your pin okay do the same thing the bottom one This is 14 millimeter. You don't have to tight so much and you break that, okay? It does have torque on it, but not necessary to. Uh, make sure it's enough pretty good. Um, if you do too loose, uh, I haven't seen any like this will come off, but Normally, if you do at least like 30 foot pound, then you should be safe. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many foot pound on this, but normally a 10 millimeter bolt, you use about um, between 10 to 20. And 12, you lose about um, uh, 15 to 30. And then 14 is about 20 to 40. Then you should be safe on that. But yeah if you do too much more than that you you can break the uh, the boat or you can strip that okay so that's it uh, ready to put the tires on okay on the uh, lug nut um, I'm using the Toyota uh, 80 foot pound of torque you know you can do 80 foot pound I didn't I always say it should have more than a hundred okay 80 90 uh, should be okay but according to this I using this one's a standard for Toyota is 80 foot pound okay Good enough. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Goodbye now.